Hi, I'm Stephanie Jaworski at joybaking.com. Today we're going to make chocolate nut shortbread and this is what it looks like. This shortbread has a wonderfully buttery flavor and a crisp texture and we're going to top our shortbread with some chopped nuts and chocolate chips. These are so good, it's hard to eat just one. Uh, so the first thing that you will need to do is to preheat your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 165 degrees Celsius. And then you will need a nine inch, which is 23 centimeter, two piece tarpan like this. If you don't have a tarpan, you could use a nine inch springform pan as well. And then I'm just going to butter the bottom of my pan, that bottom plate. So what I did is I just melted a little bit of butter and I'm using a pastry brush. You could spray the bottom of your pan as well with one of those non-stick sprays. So there. What's interesting about this shortbread, you know, a lot of times we have to make the batter, we have to roll it out, cut in individual cookies. We don't have to do that here. It's so easy. We're using, we're just having one big round of shortbread. And then after it's baked, we're going to cut it into wedges. So really fast. You need a cookie really quickly. This is the one to make. So the batter, if you have a stand mixer like I have here, use your paddle attachment. You can use a hand mixer. Or really, we are just mixing the ingredients together. We don't want to incorporate any lots of air into the batter because shortbread is very dense, so you could easily do this by hand. The first thing you will need is a half a cup, 113 grams of butter. I'm using unsalted, but you know a lot of people like to use salted butter for their shortbread, so go ahead and do that. Just leave out the salt that uh, is called for in the recipe. So the next thing is a quarter of a cup, 50 grams of granulated white sugar. So I'm just going to mix this, these two ingredients together on like low speed. Okay, so that's done. I'm going to just give this scrape down sides and the bottom of your bowl. I want to get everything mixed together. On the handle there. And then all we have left to do is to add one cup, which is 130 grams of all-purpose flour, plain flour. And if you used unsalted butter, then add a quarter of a teaspoon, one, gra one gram of, I'm using a fine kosher salt. That's it. Really three ingredients, well four if we want to count the salt. So now I'm going to beat this on, again, low speed. I don't want a solid ball of dough. I want the, make sure that all the flour is moistened, but I don't want a solid ball. Okay, we are done. As you can see, you really could do this by hand. See, we're, we're not, we don't have a solid ball, but we've made sure, I've made sure that all the flour is moistened. And now we're just going to press this into our tart pan. So I'm just going to use my fingers here. You could use the back of a spoon or an offset spatula, but really. <laughs> if you need some last minute baking, this is what you want to make. Not a lot of work. Everybody loves them. 
Now we're going to top this with some nuts and some chocolate chips. If you didn't want to do that, you could just bake it off like this. Just have a plain shortbread. So I'm just using a spoon just to even it out a bit here. Hey, that looks good. If your hand, if it's really sticky, you could just lightly flour your fingertips. Okay, so once we have a nice even layer, then what I want to do is prick the shortbread. That helps to prevent it from um, puffing up during baking. So I'm just using the tines of a fork. Let's put some. Looks good. And like I said, if you wanted to bake it off just like this, you could do that. But today we're going to dress up our shortbread with, I'm using some chopped pecans. You could use other nuts like walnuts, almonds, whatever you want. And I'm using a quarter of a cup, 25 grams. These are not, I didn't toast them because they'll toast in the oven. So these are raw. And I'm just going to kind of kind of evenly sprinkle them over the top as best as I could. Now I'm only using, I'm not using a lot. If you wanted lots of nuts, you could add more or less. You could leave them off, like I said. Yeah, that looks pretty good, <laughs> even enough. And then I'm just, I just have uh, two tablespoons, 30 grams of some these are semi-sweet chocolate chips. You could use bittersweet, you could use milk, white, you could use a combination of that. And again, I'm just kind of putting them around evenly. Okay, <laughs> where do I put it? Uh, Okay, so once you do, now I'm just going to gently press so the nuts and chocolate chips adhere to the shortbread because we don't want them falling off after we bake. And baking time. Everyone's oven is a little different. I always say that. So use the baking time as one factor, but with shortbread, it really goes by how it looks. The more you bake shortbread, the browner it gets and the more crisp it will be. You know, if there's one thing that I, I think is a it's the trickiest part with shortbread is to know how long to bake it for your individual liking. Do you like it really crisp or not so much? So really it's going to be a little bit maybe of experimenting but it's good experimenting because you just can make a few batches. So I'm going to say between 30 and 35 minutes. I do rotate my pan front to back about halfway through. What you're looking for is a light golden brown. It'd be a little, little darker around the edges, but you want to make sure that the whole thing is a light golden brown because that'll make it wonderfully buttery crisp. So 30 to 35 minutes. Okay, so our shortbread is done. As you can see, it's a light golden brown, a little darker around the edges. That's how I like mine. So put your pan on a wire rack and we're gonna let this cool down to room temperature. And then when we come back, we will cut it into wedges. So our shortbread has cooled down to room temperature. To remove it from the tart pan, a really easy way is just take like a small bowl or something like that and put your and then it just falls away <laughs> and then just put it on the cutting board and cut it into you can cut it into as big or small pieces as you want I'll just cut through here the center and then 
It will just kind of slide right off the plate if you want to take it off the bottom plate, but I'll cut while it's on. And then, well, I don't know, big, big wedges, small, will be good today and we'll just, we'll put it into just a little one. <laughs> but you can do whatever you want. So, oh, wonderful. Mm. Wonderful. I mean, shortbread, just a few like everyday ingredients, butter, sugar, flour. Essentially, that's it. And you bake it off and it's so, you can taste the butter and then the crisp texture. It's just wonderful. And like I said, if you didn't want to put the, the nuts or the chocolate chips on top, you can leave it off and just have a, you know, plain shortbread. But, you know, for something different, I like the look of it. I like the taste of the pecans. And the chocolate, like I said, you could use other nuts. You could use different chocolate chips. You could put more or less. You can have a lot of fun with it and, and vary it up to what your family wants. So you really need to try this one because it stores really well. You could even freeze it if you wanted to. So you could make it ahead of time. So also while I have you, um, if you are a subscriber, thank you very much. Uh, but some people that have subscribed say they're not getting notified when we put out a new video. So YouTube has this new thing where you go and right by the subscriber button, there's a little bell. Just press that and they say that if you press the bell, you will make doubly sure that you will get notified. So if you want to do that, thank you. So try this. And until next time, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. Thank you.